I got nail mail. I got nail mail, my YouTube friends. Let's get right into this nail haul, y'all. Welcome to all Nails Free channel. What's up my YouTube friends? How y'all doing? I hope y'all all have any blessed day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, my name is Momo. I love to do nails. Anything that's nail related, I like to do. And if those are the type of videos that you like to watch, then guess what honey? You're in the right channel. So please do me that favor right and hit that subscribe button for me and your post notification bell on to also like that you get notified every time i upload a video that you like to watch and become my youtube friend because i would love to have you here okay so with that being said let's get right into this video since i have this um drill bit um holder container thing from erica's i'm gonna put all you know the drill bits that i got from her so yeah y'all so i could keep all like her brand in that um case over there right here i'm showing you that i do separate all my diamond bits from my carbide bits so in this little case i do keep all my diamond bits and inside this um drill bit holder i do have some that i bought from erica's a while ago and um so i do take those out and um i'm going to put them together along with the new ones that i bought so like that i could keep all the erica brand ones inside that drill bit holder square case and then keep my quote unquote cheaper ones in this um drill bit holder right here see this is one that i bought from her and you see how you see what i mean y'all on my last um nail mail you see how it gets all like dark it, because of the solution. See, oh, you, I can tell this one's from Erica because I can see the name right there a little bit. I can still see the name. So this one is from Erica's and this is in the orange, like a red orange color. So that means this one extra coarse. And I bought this diamond bit one in extra coarse just so I could go over and on top of any enhancements. You know what I mean? I didn't get it to go on top of the natural nails because if i would use a diamond bit on the natural nail i would use a fine one or a medium one you know what i mean but a coarse or extra coarse um i i mean i wouldn't recommend it i don't know you probably still can but i'm not sure but i really bought it to to go over and on top of enhancement to smooth out you know it's like kind of basically like using you know how after words after we finish filing we go in with a buffer well, instead of using a buffer, you're, you're, you know, you're using a diamond bit. That's what I'm thinking about. That's how I'm taking it. Like I'm using it. You know what I mean? That's why I'm using, that's why when I do use this diamond bit, I'm, you know, using it has a buffer, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And this one is a large tapered barrel in medium. next one is a small barrel and medium all right y'all so this one right here it is a carbide bit and this one is a small carbide barrel bit and medium and it's used for fast cutting and smooth finishing finishes thinning out products and reducing thickness shaping acrylics and hard gel carving out smile lines removing lifting pockets you can use this carbide bit for all that stuff okay this one is a la large cross cut barrel and coarse okay see cross cut you see that so about this product y'all it is a large diamond cross cut barrel bit is used for cutting and shaping acrylics and hard gel it's unique cross cut pattern allows for debris to escape and not load up with product as quickly as smooth barrels do so right here i'm just basically showing y'all that these are diamond bits y'all it's just one is a cross cut diamond bit and one is a smooth diamond bit and like i said y'all and just because it is a cross cut and it got ridges in it and it's also a coarse bit i only use this on some type of enhancements i would not use this on my natural nails and the stuff that i've read to y'all was from the description from erica's website so it did say to use on um shaping and buffing out acrylics or 
hard job it did not say anything about using on top of a natural nails so if i were you i would look into that before you would try to use this type of diamond bits and especially in course on a natural nail okay and i bought i bought this one before from erica but in medium yeah. so this one is a flip cylinder in medium this one is a it's like a sanding band but in a diamond bit so instead of using a sanding band you can use this like a sanding band you know what i mean look see it's for this this one is a coarse and this time i decided to buy a medium and look you see that it looks all dark and all that that was because i left it in that lucas solution for too long i left it if i'm not mistaken i think i left it overnight y'all and it got like this all you know like rusty looking it's not rusty it's not rusty it just looked rusty you know what i mean but it's not rusty are we allowed to still use this like this even though you know is it okay to still use it like this or are we not supposed to use this like this so this is like a little screw on y'all you see you're supposed to screw it on and off oh the whole thing came off supposed to all right y'all so this diamond flip cylinder it is an alternative to sanding bands you can remove lifting you can prep the natural nails shorten and shape with this mighty bit it files more smoothly and doesn't heat up like paper bands can only be used with the erica's adjustable mandrel bit that it is sold separately so the adjustable mandrel bit is what I was just showing you right now that I was unscrewing to take that um, bit off of it. That right here that I'm showing you right now, that is an adjustable mandrel bit. So you're going to need that to use that particular diamond cylinder bit, okay? It is called a flip cylinder bit. So this is the mandrel bit, y'all. This is the mandrel bit. And this, what you so you know, you put this inside here, and then you tighten it up by screwing it. You tighten it up and loosen it up, you know, like that. So I got a medium one, y'all, to like to go over and on top of the natural nails. Like let's say when I put the nail tip on, y'all, I can use the medium one to blend in the nail tip instead of using a sanding band. And guess what, y'all? You can also use this mandrel bit on a sanding band on a regular sanding band because it's an adjustable mandrel bit so you can adjust this mandrel bit into a regular sanding band okay but if you're going to use one of those flip cylinder bits you're going to need this type of mandrel bit this adjustable mandrel bit to use the flip cylinder bit because that flip cylinder bit is not you're not going to be able to use that on a regular mandrel bit, if that makes sense. Erica's adjustable mandrel. This is different than other sandy band mandrels because of these little O-rings. You lefty-loosey, which contracts little O-rings, and then you righty-tighty, which expands them. This way you get a true hug for every sandy band because sandy bands need hugs. I guess they do. So I'm going to go ahead, loosen that, push my sanding band right onto the adjustable mandrel and tighten Next it. up is a large barrel and fine, a large barrel and fine. These are the rest that I got also from Erica. See, this one is just like this one, but this is the small barrel. This one is the large barrel. See, this one is the small barrel and this one's the large barrel and this one is an extra coarse and this one isn't fine. So these are the four brand new bits that I bought from Erica's. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my old bits that I got from Erica's in here. So like that, I know which ones are the good ones and then the ones that are the cheap ones. Yo, so this package right here been sitting in here for more than a month because this was their summer sale, y'all. 
their summer sale. I don't know. I think it was July. Their 4th of July deal or sale or something like that. Yeah, I think it was that. Let's see, look. It came with all these confetti glitters. You know what i'm looking i'm looking because it looks like these rhinestones that i got can match with these rhinestones that i got like you see like these these glitters look like it match with these type of rhinestones not all of them you know what i mean but most of them do and or these rhinestones you know what i mean one of them bitches so it came with this it came with all these pixie crystals y'all that i think it also match with these type of rhinestones you know what i mean see the blue with the blue the pink with the pink the green with the green the purple with the purple you know what i mean see the orange with this one right here see this orange with that one right here you know See? Oh, yeah, look. The blue with the blue, the pink with the pink, the green with the green, and then this one is white, and this one is like a, you know, that Aurora color, so this one matches with the purple, the Aurora one. See, these both match with the purple ones. And then with these Mylar ribbons, these are Mylar ribbons, you could cut them into tiny little strips, and, and and then or you could put it in that little shredder thing i have one and then maybe sh try to shred it up and make it look like little flakes you know what i mean yep you can cut these in and then these femus and i got some femus y'all i got some femus it's just that the ones that i got they kind of look like some are thick like the way they were cut, I, you know, because I guess because I got them from AliExpress and stuff like that. And you know how they be selling some products that are, what are it, defective and stuff like that. So some is going to come, you know, off than others. Yeah. And these look like they all like, you know, like cut correctly. Like they all cut the same size and all that because they like, you know, thin. They not that thick. You know what I mean? So this comes with um, some fruits, femus, and some flower femus. Some flower shaped femus and some um, fruit shaped femus, okay? Yeah, because I don't know why I say there's only fruit because, you know, these are flowers. Those are flowers, these are flowers, those are flowers, and the rest are fruits. This is a flower, unless they are some type of fruit that i never seen, but yeah. They look like flowers to me and some fruits, okay? So you got a mixture of both there to me. <laughs> and, oh, and these are the tips that I'm talking about from Young Nails. That looks like those tips that I showed y'all in my last video. The stiletto shaped ones that I showed y'all in my last video that I got from Amazon. And these are the ballerina or the square shape from um, Young Nails. And I remember having these way back way back like three years ago i remember buying these i think they were from the attitude shop if i'm not mistaken i i think they were from the attitude shop but for me i'm telling you the size zero were way too small so see and these look big see these look like i don't know y'all maybe they do come like that because yeah i don't know i'm going to compare them to my old ones that i got to see if not then if they different they different if they the same they the same they the same shape they the same everything but i'm telling you like the quality wise i want to see the quality wise if they the same you know what i mean but i i know for a fact that they the same exact shape because i had these i got them in natural and in clear yep so i rebought them to see the sizes of it like the size zero and the size one to see if it comes bigger than the ones that i already have 
no. Let me pull out my old ones to see. You see, these are my old ones. I put them in, they came in bags, y'all, and I just put them in here. But see, these are my old ones. They're the same exact ones. Look, what size is it? Okay. Yep, they're the same exact ones, y'all. Look. Okay. This is the size zero. See, I got them in natural. See, uh, yep, I did get them from the Attitude Shop. And they're called extra, extra long ballerina slash coffin. So let me compare this zero to this zero to see if this zero is bigger than this zero. <laughs> yeah, uh, is it? Oh my God, I can't tell. Oh, they look the same to me. The same, oh yeah, okay. The only difference that I see only difference that I see is that right here this goes down y'all see that it has that hump and then it goes down you see that and this one is just straight it doesn't go down right here See? it gives you like that nice little arch apex look but it stays straight it stays straight mm -hmm. it stays straight this one you see It goes down right here y'all see that but they both the same size yeah I thought I thought it came damaged when I bought these I thought they were damaged because of the size because I'm telling you the size zero was too small for my sister's thumb and I'm like I think these came defective or whatever but nope because even young nails are the same size they are the same yeah. and they straight like they're not curved in the bottom you see they not curved or nothing like that it's straight it's straight they both are see they're both straight see, see? how this one goes like it's like a hill and then it goes down and this one, it has a little hill, but it goes straight. So now I got to figure out which one is which. Yep, this one is the one from the one. Yep, that goes down. See, it goes down. Do you see? And then this one goes straight. It's not going down right here. Next up, y'all, is from Bomb Nails. So the only thing I got from Bomb Nails was crystal clear a Kalinsky brush and some monomer. Oh, she threw in a gift. Okay, so I got two eight ounce monomers. I wanna test this monomer out. I got her um, the 16 ounce clear. I got her the new, um, it's not the new one, but I got the size 16 Kalinsky brush. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think I got the 14 or is it the 12? I think I got both of them. I think I got the 12 and the 14. Now, I think the 14, I haven't used it yet. And I've been using the size 12. But now I got the 16 one. And then she threw in a gel polish. For free. It's like a light blue. a very pretty blue yep. so that's all from bomb nail and then next up y'all is from Oopas. 
Manny Pro. I got another drill bit holder. And I got this beauty. I got this beauty, y'all. I got this fucking beauty right here. I got this motherfucking beauty right here, bro. <laughs> Yep, another nail drill, y'all. Another nail drill. Y'all, stay tuned into my channel, y'all, because Christmas is coming up. And I want to start giving away a lot of, of my stuff that I bought throughout the year. And, and most of that stuff, y'all, is, like, practically brand new. Uh, most of the stuff, I probably just, you know, showcased it to unbox it. Or I probably used it one time. If the most, if I did use it was five times, that's probably the most I ever used. The stuff that I'm going to give away, if that makes sense. And it's probably, you know, it's slightly used. You know, it's still, like, practically in fucking great condition. You know what I mean? So, like, stuff like that you will find in, you know and flea markets and you know and and um what you call them um you know goodwill type stores um those um oh my god what the fuck they call it's like a flea market store like a goodwill store what they call it i forgot i got it like right there and i cannot get it I used to go to them stores with my grandma when I was younger. Yeah, we used to get a lot of used stuff, used clothes, and then if we used to find stuff that were even brand new in there. Yeah. So that's basically what I'm doing. But I'm just giving it away to y'all. Y'all y'all don't gotta buy it. Y'all don't gotta do nothing. Or the only thing that I might do is make y'all pay for shipping. That's the only thing, y'all, because this stuff I did spend a lot, a lot of money on y'all. And anyway, let's get that. Let's get into that too later. But anyway, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. I, I got the Manny Pro. I got my Manny Pro right here. This is my Manny Pro. I love it. It's good. It's quiet. It's so nice and smooth. Like when you drill your nails, you can feel it. That it's nice and smooth. Hardly to any vibration you feel and all that. You know what I mean? The only thing is just don't show the the RPMs. You know what I mean? It doesn't show the RPMs. But it's a really, really fucking good uh, nail drill. Really great, great, great nail drill. Okay? I actually had two of them. A pink one. That pink one, I bought it second. Uh, my first Manny Pro drill was in white. And then I seen that I seen that they came out with a pink one and a blue one, and I had to get the pink one. I had to get the pink one. Then I put the white one up, and then I just stuck with the pink one. And I'm pretty used. To, if y'all see my videos, y'all, and, and y'all barely see me using that drill. Y'all barely see me using that drill. Like even my white one, I barely even used it. You know what I mean? So and then I seen that Manny Pro, Cool Fuck Manny Pro came out with a new one, and it got the display on it and everything. Yep. So I had to get it. I had to get it. I had to get it. So I got it in white. I got it in white, y'all. I got it in white. Look at this. Look at this. And the cool part about this, y'all, this piece right here is interchangeable or changeable. Some shit like that. Yeah. This piece right here is changeable. You can change this piece right here. Yep. And then it came with the new handpiece because the handpiece that Koopa got, they got two handpieces. KP60 and KP55, okay? The difference between those two, see, the handpiece I got on my old Manny Pro is this one. The kp 60 yeah this one is the 60 don't it yeah this one is you know it's short it's a short you know handpiece the 55 is a little bit longer it's, it's a little bit longer it's it's also you know thin like this one it's thin like this one it's just a little bit longer the kp50 this one is just a short version of you know it's short and this one it goes in right here you know what i mean this one is the kp65 so this is the newest handpiece oh yup yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what this looking like. This is the handpiece right here, y'all. This is the handpiece right here. It looks just like that one, y'all. It looks just like the K60. The only difference, I think it is that around that piece where like where you hold it at, I think it's, it's, it's rubber. It's, I think it has like a silicone feel to it, if I'm not mistaken. See? See? It's the same one. Look. 
Oh shit, I don't know. Hello, and it came with a manger bit and some sanding bands. And this is the hand piece right here. You see, it looks just like this one. It looks just like this one, y'all. See, this is the only difference. See, this one is more of a rubber feel. This one is not. That's the only difference about it, y'all. But it's, it's the same size and everything. So, when you holding? Because I heard, yo, y'all, I heard that you're not supposed to hold your headpiece all the way up here somewhere. You're supposed to hold it as close as you can get, you know? And then, like that. Yeah, that's what I heard. Like, you're supposed to work with it, like, like your whole you're holding a pencil. Like, that's what I heard. Like, you're supposed to work with it. Like, 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 if I'm not mistaken, I think Greg said that from Young Nails. But yeah, you're supposed to hold the handpiece like if you're holding a pencil. You know, like work with it like if you're holding a pencil. But if you've got long nails on, you're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> but you're supposed to hold it like if you're holding a pencil. Like work with it like if you're working with a pencil. You know what I mean? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? It come a little bit. It comes charged. All right, y'all. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. The only concern that I got with this e file is the handpiece. The noise or the sound of this handpiece is not usually usually like their other handpiece. Their other handpiece is, you know, hardly to any noise. It's very quiet and low on noise and all that good stuff, y'all. But as soon as I turned this on, I noticed the sound and how loud it was. Should I make sense? You know, if that makes sense because you know the other because of the other handpiece are not this loud like this one maybe because this one it is a brand new handpiece and it is you know it's a brand new handpiece you know this one is the kp65 and the one that i do have or been owned was the kp60 and it did not sound like this one whatsoever when i first bought that other handpiece so when i did turn this one on i noticed the sound different that this one this sounded a little louder than the other one so i'm kind of like concerned with that there's on reverse oh okay i get it i get it since it's going that way yeah okay so yeah it's not messed up y'all see it's going that way so yeah that makes sense yeah okay so that's why the arrow is showing that way i thought that was like forward so i'm gonna pause it and then i'm gonna put it on forward forward means it's going this way towards me okay press the button again now it's coming towards me see and another concern I, I had with this was with the reverse and the forward with the arrows display on the screen, y'all. Um, the arrow that is displaying like going looks like like if it's going back, that's forward. And the arrow that on the display that it looks like it's going forward is reverse. So it makes sense now. So when it's on reverse, that means you know when you're putting the handpiece on your nails is because it's going that way that the way the arrow is showing on the screen and then when you, and it's vice versa so when you put it on forward it shows the arrow that you know when you place the headpiece on your hand it's going towards the way the arrow is showing which is forward i hope that makes sense but you'll get it <laughs> so everything is fine with that so right here you're going to notice the sound difference from See? my old headpiece Oh, yeah. Yeah. With this one, I don't hardly feel no vibration, y'all. 
This one sounds more quiet. This one sounds more quiet. And I hardly feel any vibration. This one is, is louder than that one. Well, I can honestly, honestly say that this handpiece is more quiet than this one. This handpiece is more quiet than this one. But the good part about it, y'all, is that I can use either handpiece. I can use this handpiece on that one. I can use that handpiece on this one. I can switch up. But I don't see, I don't see the reason to do that because they're both the same. You know what I mean? They both the same to me, so it doesn't need. I don't need. Why would I switch it up? You know what I mean? Unless I get the KP55, because the KP55 is is longer, you know. But other than that, it's both the same. Even the KP55, they both the same. They don't go any. It doesn't go higher than 30. You know what I mean? It works the same. All right, y'all. So this is it for this haul. Stay tuned in for another haul. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Bye.